climate change. Immigration. To maintain peace. Climate change. Immigration. Unification. Important issues were on the minds of young Europeans as they gathered at the Model European Parliament Baltic Sea region, Copenhagen 2009. Hundred delegates and teachers from 11 countries participated in the conference sponsored by the Nordic Council of Ministers to discuss European topics. On behalf of the MEP BSR organization, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to Copenhagen. Member of the Danish Parliament, Julie Rademacher, gave the opening speech. What is Europe today? Do you have the answer? And the young Social Democrat offered some advice to the MEP BSR delegates. They have to believe in their sel themselves as individuals, that they have their rights to participate in democracy, but they also have a responsibility to follow the newspapers, to participate in debates. And I think I'm so amazed that there are so many young people here in Danish parliament. It's not every day we have so many young people in the parliament. Hendrik Gerner Nielsen from the European Parliament Information Office in Denmark took the time to reflect on why it is crucial that young Europeans get together in a project like MIP BSR. It's particularly important because it involves young people. Young people uh, need to uh, understand the necessity of European cooperation, uh, cross-border cooperation, and they are those who have the means and opportunities actually to to benefit from such a cross-border cooperation when traveling, studying abroad and so on. In committees on foreign affairs, environment, civil liberties, lifelong learning and education and culture, the delegates drafted resolutions for the General Assembly. This group discussed the role of the European Union in reducing climate changes. And committee president Ulla Clint Hill was inspired by the different perspectives that were voiced during the debate. People are very interested in this subject and they have a lot of good points, so I think it's going to be very great. I'm looking forward to it. After several days of team building, committee work, sightseeing and partying, the General Assembly took place at the Copenhagen City Hall. It's a great pleasure and a great honor to welcome you all to the General Assembly in connection with the 10th session, a kind of anniversary, of the model European Parliament Baltic Sea region. Similar to the European Parliament, the committee resolutions were debated and passed or rejected. Uh, Russian delegation has voted as follows. Two in favor, five against, and zero abstentions. President Helene Flethoy encouraged the delegates to use the insight into the parliamentary system to inspire people in their home countries. If you want to make real progress and see actual results, a few days of discussions and parliamentary sessions are not enough. You must be role models and you must be entrepreneurs and you must create the very much needed organizations and institutions that you write about in your resolutions. Exploring modern democracy at the Copenhagen conference was a lesson on the art of compromising in order to achieve new solutions. You know, with people from different cultures and from different nations and uh, they are totally disagree with you and you think like, why are they thinking like this? And, uh, but uh, then uh, you, step by step you will see, uh, okay, other cultures, other ideas, other languages, of course, and uh, all this you have to find compromises. And uh, this is a really, really exciting thing. For the delegates, MEP BSR Copenhagen 2009 was a week to remember. The best moment, <laughs> maybe when our, uh, when our resolution passed. <laughs> I would love to do it again if I, if I could. How about you? I totally agree, uh, agree with her. It's just been so amazing. It's a fantastic week. It was both a hard work, but it was also very interesting. And it's really unique because normally you don't really have the opportunity to meet so many people from so many different cultures and countries. And they all meet together here in Copenhagen and exchange their views and be friends and become friends. And not friends only for this week, but friends from the whole, for the whole life. And I'm really sure that we'll all stay in contact, but also after this week. Yes.